What's up guys, it's your boy back again with another video. Today we're gonna look at my unique features like I added a camera, some welcome lights, and things like that in my interior as well. Um, give you an overview of what you can do to your Subaru. Let's get it. Alright, the first thing is let's talk about my welcome lights. When you walk up to the car, you're gonna have these lights turn on right here. And that's all proximity based. If you have the push to start keyless, you're gonna need that feature to have that proximity. It basically turns on your map lights, which you can tell right there. But I wired this light right here, so when I'm walking close, they're called a puddle light. So when you get really close to your car, um, it basically shines light at the ground because you wanna avoid those puddles, right? It's a nice feature and it's also very welcoming, of course. So my car is still locked unless I touch the handle, of course. Car stays unlocked, and as you can tell, my turn signals stay on. This is because I have the dial dynamics, smart re tap. Then again, these headlights also stay on, the turn signals and the turn signal on the bottom on the headlights and the, whatever, the blinker. Let's go in the car. All right, so the first thing you notice is definitely the interior is fairly simple and clean. The thing that does stick out is the Uniden R3 radar detector. It's the best one on the market. I highly recommend it. Of course, if you're going to mount it, mount it cleanly. Um, there's two spots where I would recommend here or a little bit up higher right here. As well as I do have a dash cam you want to stay protected from stuff like that peace of mind is important so those two things radar detector and dash cam behind the camera all wired through this little cleanly through here no wires visible except of course the one plugging into the unit in but it's not hanging down to the AC jack 12 volt next thing I want to talk about is my Cobb access port mounting of course Oh yeah, this button right here is the, I can take pictures of my web little dash cam. Just press this button and I'll take a picture. It's always recording, but if you want to take pictures, it's there. Now the Cobb access port, it's pretty simple. I always like to monitor my stuff. It's like my gauges. I don't have it up here, so I definitely like to see my damn, you know, AFRs and whatever ethanol content. So I have it right here mounted because you definitely, if you're running flex fuel, you'd like to see your flex fuel percentage. I have it mounted on this blank right here. This little, I drilled a little hole. That way it's actually hard mounted and um, I'm not gonna have any issues. You can still tilt it, things like that. It's nice. I used to have it mounted right here, but I was running issues with double-sided tape failing in the summer times. Um, I didn't, I, there are car mounts or your cell phones that will work, but I don't like it on the thingy. I like to keep it low, a little bit discreet, as well as I have a fog light switch right here. Um, and this is for, this used to be for my light bar. I'm planning to use this for potentially other accessories. I also have my new light bar button right here. Let's see if you can get a video with that. You can see that little light. That's where my light bar switch is. And then I have my dial dynamics ultra high beams in here. Moving on. Let's turn the bad boy since we're already talking about the Cobb access port. All right. So here is my information regarding my intake. I like the intake temp. You probably want the one right before the intake manifold where it's getting the real air after the intercooler but I like seeing the intake temperature you have the dam the ethanol final at 43% right now boost knock feedback and field pressure these are the ones I like to monitor see if there's any issues followed up by my nice Android head unit this is a beautiful unit it's still super fast and slick way better than the stock unit if you're planning to buy one you should go get it especially if you have a 15 to 18 because it just fits 
super snug. Even the 19s should be able to fit, no problem. Um, it's a very relatively easy install. If you're looking to buy, I do have another video on my channel that you can check out that talks more about this unit itself. Because of this unit, I have a lot more features. Another one I want to show you is if you have a 2015 WRX. Low battery. Oh, low battery on my little thing right there. But yeah, if you throw it into reverse, the reverse camera is on there. What I did was I added another camera on my side mirror like the Honda cores and stuff. When you're running wider wheels with some poke, you definitely want... Oh, this is actually a wireless transmission to the side right there. You definitely want a camera on the side, especially if you park in downtown a lot. So if I show you, if I open this, as you can tell, it's uh, doing its job. I have a little, I have a little ball right there to show you that it is real time. It's a little McGuire spray bottle. But yeah, it's a cool thing. If you throw it out of reverse, it automatically goes back to the screen. But yeah, that's for the interior. I hope you guys like it. Let me show you the camera on the outside. Dang, it's a beautiful day out. And here's my camera, kind of DIY style. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little socket right here that you can cut out and have your little camera mounted. Um, the Japanese models have a little welcome light right there, so there's a little blank you can kind of mess with. Of course, I changed my welcome light right here, wired to the map lights. But yeah, it's a pretty cool setup overall very unique and of course i like it but yeah with that android head unit it has a lot of creative things i'm thinking of adding a front camera to my car that way i have three cameras going a little bit crazy but i like to be a little adventurous car is warning me that there is no nobody in the car and i still have it on that's if you have pushed a start. And of course you can lock the car with that right there. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial of, uh, not even tutorial, an overview of the cool parts I have in my car. A little bit different, unique, some custom ones that people generally don't do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. It was just a quick video. Peace out. Thank you.